There has been a lot of official Thomas Friends games. We got the ones from the SNES all the way up to smartphones, but these games are kind of boring and there isn't much replay value or any sandbox elements in these games. And sometimes we just want to explore Sodor with our engines. Well, that is exactly where the Thomas Friends fans come in. They have made a lot of games on Roblox and Roblox is one of the best places to play Thomas games. But before we get into the video, this video is it going to advertise my new Roblox game? That, that's right. Me and my wonderful team have made a game about the magazine locations on Sodor. After this video, you should like, go and play it. Well, after the video though. The link's in the description. Also, before we start, I do not want to cover any games made by Speedy Skip. I do not agree with any of his actions, and I feel like that a lot of the games on this list are better than his games. And these games probably deserve more attention than his games do. But with that out of the way, let's get into the video. Cooley 93 Thomas Friends games are one of the first Thomas games on Roblox, and for being one of the first games, it's pretty cool. It's not anything amazing, the mods have been a lot better, but it sure has its own art style, and just being able to play as Thomas Friends engines was something that was really kind of interesting. Just one of the first ever games to do that. The game did get taken down in 2020 due to it having Thomas Friends music, like a lot of other Thomas Roblox games for the time. But you can play a remade version, but without any of the Cooley 93 models on Ryan Smell's uh, Roblox account. It's the whole map, but there's just no Cooley 93 models, which is really annoying. The game was kind of falling apart in 2020, but who knows, maybe one day someone will store the game with all the original assets and make it work in the modern day. But Cooley 93 Thomas games were just a great start to Thomas Roblox, but it did end up getting a lot better. Next up is another old Thomas Roblox game, one of the first ones, and it is NXT Thomas. NXT Thomas was a huge step out from Cooley 93 Thomas. And the game had Thomas models that actually looked a lot like they did from the show. It was kind of insane, like they actually looked pretty accurate, unlike the Cooley 93 models, where it was a very stylized approach. The NXT Thomas game has a very unique style. I think the normal just Roblox faces on the engines is a little weird. I think the map in this game is really cool. It's not like any other Thomas game map I've seen before. I really like the map for this. The game did get taken down, but Ryan Smells uploaded the original map to his Roblox profile, so you can go there and look at the map and play NXT Thomas. Next is Tommy Testing Grounds. Tommy Testing Grounds are in November of 2019. This game is really fun. All the engines in really stock are Tommy models. It's entirely accurate to, like, with the faces and everything, but I like the faces that they chose. Even characters don't even have Tommy models are in this game, which is really cool. The map is very fun, feels like something that I would have dreamed of as a kid, but like 10 times better. Even the uh, newer map and the older one, which I like better, but the newer one is like really good. There's a lot about this game to like, and honestly, this game being kind of small is pretty cool. I like that I had to shrink down before going into the game. That's not something that was very common, at least when I played this game. Overall, this game is extremely good and I definitely recommend that you play it. Next up is Tom Toys Land. Tom Toys Land is an amazing game with a great art style and definitely deserves all the praise it gets. And it sure lives up to that because wow, this game really has everything you'd possibly want in a Roblox Thomas game. This game has every basic location you would want but it's all stylized and i just i really feel like the art style is really nice in the game it really is just a, a big highlight for me i like the map too i feel like the map could just be a little better but for what it is it is really good and even have this really cool thing called runaway speed where you can go super fast and that is really fun to play with but Tom Toys Land is an amazing game and i don't even want to spoil it much because i really just want you to go play it it's that good and for the final game on the list that I really could not leave out because it is the most popular Thomas Roblox game at the moment. It is Blue Train with Friends. I have complicated feelings with this game. I really liked this game in the summer of 2021. It felt pretty fun. It wasn't too big and it was pretty fun to just drive the engines and just fun sprinting around all over the place. But it had so many glitches on the old map at least. And 
there were so many pits where you'd fall and get stuck in, and there'd be parts of the game that would just be glitchy, but I tried to ignore that, but it came to a point where all the new stuff they added came with a whole lot more glitches than the content that they added. The developers were always hard at work at fixing the glitches, but it just was really annoying as a player when so much would just glitch out when new stuff was added. It was really weird. It didn't happen all the time, but it was pretty common. Now, you might be thinking, well, it's easy to ignore these glitches if they always get patched, but when it just happens so often, it just kind of gets tiring of playing a game when you know it's going to glitch out. But they did redo the map, but now it is like way too big. It feels like if this game was running on its own engine and not Roblox engine, it would be a lot better. But it is running on Roblox's engine and it, there's a lot of popping, even though I'm on full graphics so my computer can run this smooth. The map just feels like it needs to be cut in half. But the game itself is a lot better than it was. There's a lot less glitches, there's a lot more just stuff to do in the game, and it feels so much better than it did. Honestly, the game now is the best it's ever been. Besides the map, the map could be better. I know a lot of people on Twitter don't really like this game, mainly the art style throws people off, which I think they could just use maybe darker colors for the greens and blues and people probably like this better, but I think the game right now is pretty good. Not anything I'm gonna play personally. I do feel like games like Tommy Testing Grounds or Tom Toys Land probably deserve to be at the top, but we can't control popularity. But that'll be it for this video. If you enjoyed the video, please consider subscribing. It would really help out the channel. But what do you think about these Roblox games? Did you even know about any of these? Do you like some more than others? Let me know in the comments below. If you want to check out my game, go in the description below. That'll be it for today, and I'll see you all in the next video. Goodbye, everyone.